guys and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week the kids requested no sandwiches, so I came up with some creative alternatives. And I also wanted to throw in some hot lunches. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for the fans of the week. First up, we're having breakfast for lunch. I'm letting the kids try something new. These pancake balls are called Able Skeevers. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had one. They really do taste just like a pancake. Now traditionally you would put some powdered sugar on these, but I'm going to give the kids a little bit of strawberry sauce to dip in. I'm also going to add a yogurt drink, and this one is pineapple flavored, has lots of probiotics in it. For our fruit today, I'm including lots of heart-shaped strawberries, and I'm also including some heart-shaped cheese. This is just good old Havarti cheese. Our vegetable today is a twofer. It's a combination of cucumbers and carrots. These came out so cute and they were really easy to make. All you need is a little cookie cutter. I'm gonna put these in a separate container and I'm also gonna include a little bit of ranch. And last but not least, our thermos. To go along with our breakfast theme, I gave the kids several pieces of a turkey sausage and I heated them up and put them in my preheated thermoses so they would stay nice and warm. And to make these extra cute, I'm gonna throw in some special picks. I have an elephant and a bunny. They really do make it look fun. We're back home now and he owes it up, yay! What did you girls think? It was awesome. Yeah. Did you like breakfast for lunch? Yeah. I think it came out so cute and it looks like you guys loved it. Although I do see some of the strawberry sauce was a little bit messy, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Mackenzie ate everything, Jackson ate everything, Lily just has one little strawberry and one little piece of cucumber carrot. Did you guys like those? Yeah. Cute, <laughs> huh? It's two vegetables in one. What was your favorite part? My the pancake rolls. Yeah? My favorite part was the drink. The drink? Oh, that's right. You told me it would taste like a... Melted Dole Whip. Dole Whip. Melted Dole Whip, because it was pineapple flavored. I love a Dole Whip. We'll see you tomorrow. For our next lunch, we're going with a cowboy theme. And my favorite cowboy of all is definitely Woody from Toy Story. Today, I'm putting some chili in the kids' thermoses. The first thing I'm gonna add to these boxes is some really cute cornbread muffins. And I use my Mickey Mouse muffin tin to make them really fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the kids each two of these little muffins. For our fruit today, I'm giving the kids a big handful of green grapes. And then in this corner, I'm also gonna give them some shredded cheddar cheese. That way they can add it to their chili when they're ready to eat it. For a special treat today, I'm gonna add one tiny chocolate chip cookie in the little star-shaped cups. Those are so cute. They definitely remind me of Woody's sheriff badge. And I'm gonna add some extra Toy Story decorations. For our vegetable today, I'm keeping things super simple. I'm just adding some sugar snap peas, of course with some ranch for dipping. Now it wouldn't be a Woody-themed lunch without some special drinks. We have a huge collection of these drinks and we actually refill them. And then of course there's the chili. This is just some Amy's organic chili. It's actually vegetarian and it's a little bit spicy, not too bad for the kids. And hey howdy hey, there's lunch today. Let's see how the cowboy and cowgirls like it. Okay guys, lunch is over now and as you can probably tell, I gave them a little bit too much today. I think the chili and the cornbread ended up being way more filling than I thought it would be. But what do you guys think? It was good. I see Lil Kenzie, you still have some chili. Jackson ate all of his. That's really surprising. You really liked it? Uh-huh. And Lily just has a tiny bit left, but I know Griffin had some of hers when she wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that? Okay. He came and ate some. Okay guys, so what was your favorite part? My favorite part was the chili. What about you? I like the chili and the peas. The pe yeah, he ate all of his peas. That's pretty cool. The girls still have a little bit left. What about you, Lily? Um, wait. You can't, you didn't eat any grapes, <laughs> <laughs> silly. Um, the cookies. The cookies. And we'll see, see you guys, guys tomorrow. Ahoy mateys, today is National Talk Like a Pirate Day. So I definitely wanted to make a special pirate themed lunch. 
So I started by making some regular quesadillas and then I drew a little treasure map on each piece and I used my food writer pins to do that. I'm going to go ahead and give Jackson and Mackenzie two pieces and for Lily just one. For our fruit today I'm adding some red raspberries and I added them to these really fun picks that look like a pirate sword. I'm also going to throw in a few olives, and I mean a few. I was going to put more, but Miss Lily ate all of the olives, and these are all I had left. For the vegetable today, I'm going to go ahead and use up the rest of the sugar snap peas. And of course, it wouldn't be a pirate-themed lunch without some pirate booty. This is a white popcorn type snack. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried it. And lastly, I'm going to add some buried treasure to our lunch. I have these chocolate coins that I got from Disneyland, and I'm gonna go ahead and tuck them underneath the quesadillas. The kids don't know they're there. I think they're gonna love the surprise. Oh, hey, mateys, what did you think of today's lunch? Good. It was good. Did you like your surprise treasure? Yeah. The gold coins were really fun. Uh -huh. So what part was your favorite and what part didn't you like? I'm not a fan of olives. Lily, what was your favorite part? The buried treasure. And we'll see you tomorrow. For today's lunch, I tried to put in as many of the kids' favorites as I could, starting with some turkey pepperoni. To make it look really fun, I just roll it up and add it to a pick. For our fruit today, I'm adding a teeny tiny apple. I could pre-slice it, but it's just so easy to put it in whole, and the kids can handle it. But to make it extra fun, I'm going to add my googly eye picks. I'm also going to throw in a Gogurt Simple. These are in the berry flavor. Sometimes I'll add these frozen to the lunch boxes, but today I'm just gonna go ahead and bend it and stick it in. Next, I'm gonna add a tiny container of peanut butter, and that is for the kids to dip their celery in. That is such a yummy combination. Next, I'm going to add some graham cracker cookies. These are the letter ones that I get from Trader Joe's. They're really very good. M for Mackenzie, J for Jackson, and L for Lily. And then in the thermoses today, I'm adding lots of mac and cheese. The kids love mac and cheese, but this is the first time we're trying this kind. I love the one, two, three shapes in there. So here's how they did today. What did you guys think? Good. It was it was awesome. What was your favorite part? The celery. The celery and the peanut butter? Mm-hmm. What about you, Jack? Mac and cheese. What about you, Lily? Um, the crackers. The crackers? The cookies. Yeah. Oh, Meal. the graham cracker cookies. Okay. I thought this mac and cheese was a very good, especially for only 99 cents. I'm definitely going to go back to the store and buy some more of these. And we'll see you tomorrow. For today's lunch, I'm going to start by making some pizza rolls, since I'm trying not to make any sandwiches. For this, I'm starting with some crescent dough, and I'm going to go ahead and pinch the seams together so I have one big sheet. I'm going to add a little bit of pizza sauce. Now let me just say I added a little bit too much here, so if you make this, definitely don't use as much. It got a little messy. Then I added some shredded mozzarella cheese, and of course, some turkey pepperoni. I just rolled up the whole thing, and then to make it really easy, I used my kitchen scissors to cut the pieces out. Now these guys cook really fast, about 10 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Now when these are done and cooled, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the lunch boxes. These are perfect at room temperature. They don't have to be served warm. For our fruit today, I'm gonna go ahead and add more grapes. I definitely wanna use up all of the grapes before they go bad. And to make these extra fun, I'm gonna add these really cute picks. <laughs> they look like eyeglasses. <laughs> One of my sweet subscribers sent these to me. Aren't they adorable? For a special treat today, I'm gonna give the kids each one of these Oreo cookies. These are the limited edition Happy Birthday Mickey Oreos. I found them at Walmart, but you can also get them at Target. For our vegetable today, I'm adding some shredded carrots with some ranch. And then I'm also gonna give them some really yummy yogurt. This is a new flavor from Nusa. It's a maple flavor, it's really good. And of course, I always like to top the yogurt with a little bit of my pumpkin flaxseed granola. Okay guys, what did you think of today's lunch? It was good. Uh huh. What was your favorite part? Um, the Oreos. The Oreos. Oh, the Mickey Oreos, yeah. I like the Mickey Oreos, I like the pizza rolls, and the carrots. See you next week. 
Were you able to find the hidden lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know when you found her. Leave us a comment down below using the hashtag LunaLunchbox. That way we can choose you for next week's shout out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.